What's up guys, Mr. Golden Thumbs here, and today I'm back with another NCAA Football 14 gem recruiting strategy for you guys. Now this one is going to be a little bit different. This time we are not chasing athletes. This is a totally new filter that I found for you guys, and I'm going to share that with you here today. Now if you're interested in watching more NCAA Football 14 gameplay, make sure to hit that subscribe button, and also make sure to leave a like on this video if you enjoyed. And if you end up liking this strategy and haven't watched my other filter for recruiting gems and athletes in NCAA Football 14, make sure to check out the video in the card right here somewhere. All right, guys, so let's get into it. The new recruiting filter in NCAA Football 14. This is a crazy filter, guys. I was able to recruit 30 gems before the end of week one. 30 without using my full points. That is insane. And today, I'm letting you guys in on my secret. All right, guys, so what you wanna do, so what you wanna do to fill out your recruitment board, guys, is to go into the search option, and now you can filter by all positions, and then don't touch any of the other filters, just press search. Now, once that comes up, you want to filter the players from highest squat to lowest squat rating, or weight. Now, most of these guys are going to be gems, and this strategy works for any position when you're recruiting an NCAA football 14. Once you've sorted the players by squat from highest to lowest, then you can go through individually every single position in the game. So quarterbacks, running backs, wide receiver, just go through the whole list of what you need and start recruiting maybe the top five guys that come up once you filter them by squat. Now this does work really well for athletes as well, but if you wanna draft athletes and you're filtering by squat, make sure that you go around the like mid 300 to 300 squat range before you start recruiting them and adding them to your board because if you do filter by squat and then go down the list of athletes and just pick like the five top athletes all of those guys are going to be d linemen or offensive linemen you're not going to get anything else so if you're filling up your whole board of athletes sorting by squat you're just going to end up with a team full of linemen and obviously you don't want that so you can't do it by athlete and then make sure you go to that 350, 300 squat range and start going down the list. Now I did this and was able to find 30 gems. That is just insane. Now keep in mind that this strategy is a little bit harder than the previous one that I showed you guys just because we're not filtering by interest percent lock. These guys might already have high interest in other schools so you might have to fight for some of these guys or you might have to remove the guys that already have a high percent commitment to another team so that's one thing to keep in mind is to check the commitment percentage on every player before spending your points on them every week because some of these like i said might be interested in other schools since we are not using that filter in this strategy but this is a very good strategy that will allow you to get a lot of gems all right guys so let's go ahead and take a look at the final recruitment board 30 gems up on the board after not even a full week of recruiting as you can see 5,900 spent on scouting these guys so we still have a little bit of room to find more gems but i just stopped there just to get my point across that you can find a lot of gems doing this. So uh, 81 overall fullback, 79 overall corner, 79 overall corner, 81 DN, 80 DN, 76 tight end. The whole list is full of gem boys. It just goes on and on. That is just insane. And it goes to show how good this strategy really is. We've got a couple of 80 overall players in there, some high 70s, some mid 70s. But for the most part, all really, really good players with raw talent. And this strategy is nuts. So I hope you guys really enjoyed and implement this strategy that I just showed you guys to scout more effectively in NCAA Football 14. If you guys want to see the strategy in action, make sure to subscribe to the channel for my NCAA Football 14 Kent State Rebuilding Dynasty series where I use these tips that I show you guys to rebuild Kent State. And also, if this video helped you out, make sure to leave a like and leave me a comment in the comment section below letting me know how many gems you were able to find using this strategy. I really hope this video helped you guys out. As always, guys, thumbs up. And until next time, I'm out.